Malcolm Jamal Warner was born on August 18, 1970, in Jersey City, New Jersey, USA. He was named after civil rights leader Malcolm X and jazz pianist Ahmed Jamal. Warner's parents divorced when he was very young, and he was raised by his mother, Pamela Warner, who worked as a manager in a child care center. Growing up, Warner showed an early interest in performing arts. His mother, who recognized his talent, enrolled him in acting classes at an early age. Warner attended the Professional Children's School in New York City, where he honed his skills while balancing his academic studies. Warner's father, who was a police officer, also had a passion for music and played the saxophone. This exposure to music from his father influenced Warner's own musical pursuits later in life. Warner's breakthrough came when he landed the role of Theodore Theo Huxtable on the groundbreaking sitcom The Cosby Show at the age of 13. His portrayal of Theo, the son of Cliff and Claire Huxtable, endeared him to audiences and catapulted him to fame. Warner's performance on the show earned him critical acclaim and several award nominations. In The Cosby Show, Malcolm Jabal Warner portrayed the character Theodore Theo Huxtable, the only son of Dr. Heath the Huxtable, played by Bill Cosby, and his wife Claire, played by Felicia Rashad. Theo was known for his charming personality, witty humor, and occasional mischievous behavior. Throughout the series, Theo navigated the challenges of adolescence, including academics, relationships, and finding his identity. His character provided comedic relief while also addressing important life lessons and family dynamics. Warner's portrayal of Theo Huxtable was widely praised, and the character became one of the most beloved shows. Theo's interaction with his parents and siblings, as well as his memorable catchphrases, contributed to the enduring popularity of The Cosby Show and solidified Warner's place as a talented young actor in Hollywood. Despite his early success at acting, Warner remained grounded and focused on his education. He continued to pursue his passion for music, eventually becoming a skilled bass guitarist. Warner's multifaceted talents have allowed him to thrive both in front of the camera and on stage as a musician. Here are some notable roles he has portrayed in movies and TV shows. Drop Zone, 1994. He played the role of Terry Nesset, an FBI agent in this action thriller film starring Wesley Snipes. The Tuskegee Airmen portrayed Leroy Cappy in this HBO television movie about the Tuskegee Airmen during the World War II. Tyson, 1995 played the role of Don King in this HBO television movie based on the life of the Foxer Mike Tyson. Jeremiah, 1998, starred as Marcus in this drama film about a young boy who witnesses a murder. Here and Now, 1992-1993, portrayed Alexander Alex McHugh in this drama series about a multiracial family. Malcolm and Eddie, 1996-2000, starred as Malcolm McGee in the sitcom about two friends who own a sports bar. Read Between the Lines, 2011-2015, played the role of Alex Reed in this BET sitcom about a married couple who are both therapists. Malcolm Jamal Warner has been linked with some big names in the entertainment industry. Here is what his dating history looks like. Michelle Thomas was an American actress famous for Unbowed, Family Matters, and The Cosby Show. She played Justine Phillips, the love interest of Theo Huxtable, Malcolm Jamal Warner, in The Cosby Show. Away from the screen, the duo had a romantic relationship and worked together for approximately 10 years before calling it quits. Michelle Thomas succumbed to stomach cancer in December 1998. At the time of her demise, Malcolm Jamal was at her bedside. Karen Melina White, 2000-2007 Karen Melina White is an American producer and actress known for Lean on Me, Malcolm and Eddie, and Young Larson. Her relationship with Malcolm Jamal Warner became as a friendship after The Cosby Show and later developed into a romantic relationship in 2000. They dated for about seven years, which she said was not the easiest situation. Regina Renee King, 
2013, Regina King is an American film director and actress known for starring in Ray, The Harder They Fall, and Flag Day. Malcolm Jamal Warner and Regina King reportedly started their romantic relationship in 2011. After dating for approximately two years, they parted ways in 2013. Lisa Bonnet He confessed a strong liking for Lisa Bonnet, the actress who played his older sister, Denise. Warner went on to have other high-profile relationships, including one with the Oscar-winning actress. We were so close in age, Warner said, according to news.com.au, but you know I never had a shot. You know at 1314, you know when you have a shot or not, even at that age. Warner went on to reveal that he and Bonnet remain good friends. She's cool, Lisa and I. We've always been very cool. We bonded over such a unique experience that that bond no matter how much time goes by, we don't speak. The bond is still there, very strong. Bonnet would go on to date rock singer Lenny Kravitz, with whom she had a daughter, actor Zoe Isabella Kravitz, who is now 30. The actor is married, but has not disclosed who his wife is. Malcolm Jamal Warner's marriage allegedly happened between 2016 and 2017. News about him having a partner surfaced in June 2017, when he shared a picture on Instagram while holding his pregnant partner's belly. His wife reportedly works as an attorney at Bridgeport, Connecticut, United States. In June 2017, the 49-year-old actor welcomed his daughter with his wife, who was reportedly an attorney from Bridgeport, Connecticut. Not much is known about Warner's wife, but sources close to the couple claim they are very much in love. The news of the birth of Warner's first child was first announced by the mother of his ex-girlfriend, Michelle Thomas, who sadly died of cancer at the age of 30. Parenthood brings out a different side of a person that they might not have been used to. Becoming a parent often takes one protective of their offspring at all costs. Interestingly, Malcolm refuses to disclose his daughter's name in the post or his interviews, but he shares pictures of himself and her enjoying quality family father-daughter moments. One of his posts that broke the internet was a video of Malcolm and his daughter dancing in the kitchen to some of her favorite songs. The footage showed Malcolm holding his daughter in his arms while dancing with the caption, I stopped what I was doing because she didn't care about a messy kitchen. All she wanted was for her daddy to hold her. Aside from dancing with his daughter, Malcolm also enjoys singing and playing the bass guitar for her while she sings and happily dances along. Speaking of his daughter's birth, Malcolm, who welcomed her with his girlfriend, an attorney from Bridgeport, revealed that his daughter's birth had taught him to be humble, grateful, and inspired by the blessings of the world. He is keen on keeping her private and away from the media. Although the actor has numerous pictures and videos of his daughter on his social media platforms, he never shares a photo of her full face. Malcolm's decision not to reveal her name or the face has people surprised, and when asked why he does not reveal her name or face on the Wendy Williams show, he said, I have a lifetime for that, and I know it is going to happen eventually, so I want to keep her as much under the radar as I can. Malcolm, named after the legendary activist Malcolm X and Ahmed Jamal, first shown his way into the hearts of fans with his role of Leo Huxtable on The Bill Cosby Show. While the show ended in 1992, Malcolm has gone on to act in various other movies, but has not been able to get people to stop calling him Theo from his time on the show. Aside from being a hands-on father and actor, Malcolm is also a singer and a bassist who formed his band and has released a couple of songs. In all, while Malcolm enjoys spending time with his daughter and creating memories, he is keen on keeping her private and away from the media as much as he can. It's been a rough year for the actor, but he at least, he has his millions of dollars to ease his pain. 53-year-old Malcolm Jamal Warner has taken the number one spot on People With Money's top 10 highest paid actors for 2024, with an estimated $96 million in combined earnings. It looked like the actor's spectacular career was winding down. Suddenly, he was back on top. People with Money reports on Friday, March 22nd, that Warner is the highest paid actor in the world, 
pulling in an astonishing $96 million between February 2023 and February 2024, a nearly $16 million lead over his closest competition. The American actor, director, musician has an estimated net worth $275 million. He owes his fortune to smart stock investments, substantial property holdings, lucrative endorsement deals, Covergirl Cosmetics. He also owns several restaurants, the Fat Warner Burger chain in Washington, a football team, the Jersey City Angels, has launched his own brand of vodka, Pure Wonder Warner US, and is tackling the juniors market with a top selling perfume with love from Malcolm Jamal and a fashion line called Malcolm Jamal Warner Seduction. Malcolm Jamal Warner, the accomplished actor and musician, resides in a luxurious $15 million mansion, epitomizing the pinnacle of success and opulence in Hollywood. Situated amid sprawling grounds and offering panoramic views, this palatial estate excludes grandeur and sophistication. Boasting an array of lavish amenities, including spacious living areas, state-of-art entertainment rooms, and meticulously landscape gardens, Warner's mansion serves as a testament to his discerning taste and hard-earned achievements. As a multifaceted artist, Warner finds solace and inspiration when the walls of his extravagant abode, where creativity flourishes and relaxation abounds. His lavish lifestyle reflects not only his stellar career, but his unwavering dedication to his craft and his status as a revered figure in the entertainment next industry. Next, we invite you to admire the cars he owns. Cars in my recent pursuit of the world of Malcolm Jamal Warner's vehicle indulgence is a fascinating revelation. Unfolded, the man boasts an electric collection of four cars, each with its own unique flair and personality. Let's kick off this automotive journey with a nod to the nostalgia embroidered in Warner's possession of a 1995 Ford Bronco sturdy state that has weathered the sands of time. This timeless classic is not only serves as a testament to enduring craftsmanship, but also comes with a price tag that resonates with affordability in the realm of cars, collecting. Hovering around a modest $115,000, this rugged chariot with its distinctively square frame and robust build encapsulate the essence of an era when cars were built to endure the rugged trails of life. Next on the lineup is the Kia Condensa, a contemporary contender that brings a touch of modernity to Warner's garage with a price of approximately $38,000. This sleek and stylish sedan is not only a visual delight, but also a practical choice for those who see a harmonious blend of performance and sophistication. The Kia Cadenza, with its smooth lines and refined features, add a touch of elegance to the collection, showcasing Warner's discerning taste for both the timeless and the contemporary, rolling into third place as the Cadillac XTS, a luxury sedan that excuses opulence and refinement. Priced at a respectable $47,000, this vehicle offers a compelling combination of comfort and performance. The Cadillac XTS, with its spacious interior and advanced technological features, stands as a symbol of sophistication within Werner's four-wheel ensemble. With its sleek design and attention to detail, make it a fitting choice for those who appreciate the finer things in life. And finally, capping off this portrait of automobile marvels, we have the Nissan trucks, buying guy an intriguing choice that hints at Warner's inclination towards vehicles designed for utility and adventure with the price tag of around $62,000. This robust and capable truck promises to be a reliable companion for those seeking both functionality and style. Of the Nissan truck buying guide with this powerful engine and off-road capabilities embodies the spirit of exploration and rugged durability. Among these cars, which one do you like the most? Please comment below.